Hello, Screen Writers. We are back for the next and final episode of Watch Me Write. It has been an incredible journey. I really enjoyed this series. There's a lot of things I learned watching me rewrite my screenplay. One of the things is that I use too many character descriptions, so I have to, like, you know, trim down uh, a lot on that. And so, yes, yeah, so it was a great learning experience. I also had fun. So thank you so much for watching the series. And yeah, let's continue with the conclusion of Soul Lost in Brooklyn. The previous episode, we saw Kafella approaching Jamal's dead body. Jamal has just been shot by Lawrence. And Kafella now, he's basically, he can't believe it. His brother is lying dead on the ground. He gets on the ground next to his brother. He's holding him. He's crying. And then doing all this, he sees uh, a gun right next to Jamal's body. He picks up the gun. While Kefella holds Jamal in his arms, he also has the gun in his hand. While this is happening, Detective Wallace and Andrew are pulling up on the scene. Right away, Andrew pulls out his gun. He aims it at Kefella. Because remember, right now, Kefella is a armed and dangerous murder suspect. Now, Wallace also has his uh, hand on his holster, but he doesn't completely take out his gun like Andrew has. While this is happening, other cops are showing up on the scene. While Detective Andrew aims his gun at Kefella, Wallace is trying to calm things down. Wallace's main objective is to make sure uh, he gets that gun away from Kefella. As Wallace tries to get Kefella to put the gun down, Kefella is delirious. He keeps saying, it's all my fault, it's all my fault. Wallace, in the meantime, is taking small steps towards Kefella, trying to talk some sense into him to put the gun down. While Wallace is taking small steps towards Kefella, he tells him that, look, I know everything. Everything means that Wallace knows Kefella is the one that killed Damon. As Wallace tells Kefella he knows everything, Kefella tells Wallace that, look, I have to make the sacrifice. So, if you remember in the previous episode, I did a lot of callbacks to sacrifices. Kefella has been witness to his family making sacrifices, right? Like when he was younger, Jamal had to make a sacrifice so Kefella could win a baseball game. Pops had to make a sacrifice to downgrade to a, a smaller house so that way he could keep the kids. So, you know, so Kefella has always had it in mind that uh, making sacrifices for his family was critical. So he tells Wallace that the reason why all this happened because he had to make a sacrifice. After Kefella tells Wallace that he made the sacrifice, we jump into a flashback of the night he actually killed Damon. We replay that moment, how he killed Damon. Um, originally in this scene, Kefella killed Damon cold-blooded right meaning he would just like went up to him shot him cold-bloodedly for some reason that didn't sit right with me because as you know Kefala is our hero so you know killing someone in a cold-blooded way wouldn't sit right with the audience I feel so I rewrote the scene a few times and this time when I rewrote it I made sure even though he still did kill Damon the killing was more um, accidental yes he still had the intention of killing Damon but it wasn't cold-blooded in the the original scene so yeah as we get back from the flashback Kafala is still holding his brother Jamal in his arms crying he's still holding the gun more cops start to show up ambulances um is coming so the scene is getting even more and more chaotic as the scene gets more and more chaotic Kafala is crying he's still holding the gun Wallace sees this. Wallace feels that Kefala might harm himself. So as Wallace senses this, Wallace ungrips his hand from his holster, um, showing that, look, I'm a friend here. He walks towards Kefala. Slowly, though, Wallace tells Kefala, look, your mother didn't give her life for you to take yours. Ambulances now show up. Andrew, while still aiming his gun at Kefala, he's pleading with him to let the paramedics help his brother as there might still be a chance to save his life. Kefala looks at his brother. He's not moving. He's not breathing. He tells the detective that his brother is gone while also bringing the gun closer to his face ready to end his own life. While Kefala has the gun closer to his face, Wallace feels that he has to intervene or else there's going to be two tragedies. Wallace tries something different. Wallace brings up the conversation that he and Kefala had at the burger joint. If you remember that conversation, Kefala was telling Wallace that it's hard for a good kid to go straight out here in the hood. The neighborhood eats up souls. Wallace now brings up the same conversation. He agrees with Kefala. He tells Kefala, look, I don't blame you for what happened. It's really hard to go straight out here. That message and moment was critical as Wallace is really starting to get to Kefala. Kefala really listens to what Wallace had to say and he puts the gun down. Wallace carefully swoops in and takes the gun away from Kefala. Right after Wallace takes the gun away from Kefala, he puts Kefala in handcuffs and then he walks him toward the police car. As this is happening, paramedic swoops in and quickly tries to 
to give aid to Jamal. Pops approaches the scene. He sees Jamal's lifeless body on the ground. He also sees Kafella being taken to the police car in handcuffs. Pops just breaks down. You know, this is just too much for him. Kafella is put inside the police car. He's zoned out. There's chaos around him, ambulances, cops running around. He uh, starts to focus on two individuals that's in the crowd. He sees two little kids, the same age as him and Jamal was when they were in Little League. The kids look so innocent um, at the chaos around them. The car begins to drive away. Kafala continues to stare at the two little kids, hoping they too don't get swallowed up by the Brooklyn neighborhood. All right, that was the conclusion of A Soul Lost in Brooklyn. Thank you so much for watching from page one to page 121. You guys are awesome. Like this video, subscribe to this channel. If you think about it in your first screenplay, go to your favorite app store, download Stratword, Fade Out.